will learn the estimation of protein by Laurie. Here we have a standard protein solution, unknown protein solution, whose concentration we want to estimate, distilled water, alkaline CSO4, and pollen stimulate reagent. First, we'll prepare aliquot of standard solution and unknown solution. First, you will apply tube in which you will be adding 1 ml of distilled water. Second, tube will be adding 0.2 ml of protein. And second tube will be adding 0.4 ml of standard protein. Fourth tube will add 0.6 ml of standard protein. Here on in fifth tube add, will add 0.8 ml of standard protein. Will add 1 ml of standard protein. So for unknown protein, we will prepare two aliquot 0.4, 0.4 ml, and 0.6 ml. Now we have added standard protein and unknown solution. Until water in all the tubes to make a final volume to 1 ml. Likewise, we will prepare 1 ml in all the tubes. Now we will add 5 ml of alkaline CSO4 in all the tubes. Your basic principle is Cu in this solution will react with the peptide bond and will form a coordination complex which will be leading to formation of blue colored blue color complex. Now we are ready after addition of the fourth solution. Now we will incubate at 37 degree for 15 minutes. Keep all the tubes at 37 degree for 15 minutes after adding alkaline CSO4. Now we are ready after addition of alkaline CSO4 and incubation at 37 degree. Now we will add pollen stereochloride reagent. 0.5 ml of polystyrocolloid reagent in all the tubes. Polystyrocolloid reagent, basic principle here is thiosine and tryptophan present in the protein will reduce phosphomolybdate and phosphotungstate present in the polystyrocolloid reagent and will produce a nitromolybdenum blue and tungstate blue. We will add 0.5 ml in all the tubes. Of pollen stereochloride reagent in all the tubes. Now we will incubate for 30 minutes at, th at 35 degrees. Now we have removed tubes from water bath, which was kept at 37 degree. We can clearly see the increase in the intensity of a color which implicates the reaction of a protein with alkaline CSO4 and pollen stereochloride reagent. We will now measure the concentration of a protein in each tube by measuring absorbent at 660 nanometer using